Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm going to do a review on a coffee. Um, this company sent me a coupon for um, to get this. Um, I had never heard of it until they, in, in, well, I mean, until I looked them up and saw them that they that they existed, and I I sent I sent them a message um, a while back, and then. Um, they sent me a coupon for this, and I was like, I don't think that we carry this in our stores, and sure enough, we do. Um, it's called Kick Ass, uh, Kicking Horse Coffee. Um, it's a dark slash coarse um, uh, grind, I guess. Um, sweet, smoky, audacious. Um, they even have it in French, too. Um, Roasted in Canada, ground coffee, filter drip. Okay, they have that in French too. Um, let's see. Wake up and kick ass. That's, that's how I think every morning when I get out of bed. <laughs> it says, mm-hmm, that's the sound of good coffee. Deep, dark, and delicious coffee. These are organic, fair trade Arabica beans roasted right in the Rocky Mountains. We love what we do, and we think you will too. That's why, that's why this coffee kicks ass. Wake up with us. I kind of missed my period there, so I kind of ran it together. It sounded funny. Use... Use fresh, cold, filtered water. Okay, I did that. Two tablespoons for every cup. More if you're bold. Um, I, for these kind of coffees, I usually kind of, in my coffee maker, there's a, a four cup deal there. So I fill my water up to that four. And then I use a heaping, one of these scoops. <clears throat> I don't know what to compare it compare it to um, I don't know, regular size uh, uh, post-it notes um, it's, it's that it's that big about that deep um, but uh, I put a not a real big heaping but a you know about that much stands out into there and then I brewed up. Um, I just came back from washing my hands in the restroom and come in and man, that's some strong smelling coffee right there. Um, let's see, was there anything else to read? <clears throat> Don't think so. Um, yeah, even on the aroma, out of here, man. Ooh, strong. Um, it does have a smoky aroma. Whew, wow, man, that is strong. It smells good. All right, let's uh, close it up. <clears throat> I got some brewed up here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to use my clear mug so we can kind of see the color of it. You can pretty much tell it's pretty dark. Let's go about right. Let's just start there. Yeah, a pretty, a pretty dark color. Um, yeah, it has uh, about the same aroma as just out of the bag. Yeah, it smells, it smells good. Roasty, smoky, 
Let's see what we get on the taste here. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty smart. That's uh, pretty smart. That's pretty smoky, um, and it's uh, got a, a nice, you know, bitter. Um, you know, coffee fans will like this a lot. Um, it's strong. Um, let's see, sweet. Uh, in the coffee world, it's a whole different. It's a whole different ball game um, with the flavors of coffees and for me and i've mentioned this to other um, companies that i've that i review for or have reviewed for and am reviewing for is that the flavors that are um, advertised on the bags for me um, i i don't get a lot of the tastes that they are advertising but um, coffee what i call connoisseurs that uh, are big in coffees and they they're they've studied coffee they know on um, the different uh, characteristics in coffee um, they could probably get what they're saying on here See, I don't get sweet I, <laughs> um, I get a nice uh, um, roasty, you know, coffee bean uh, taste, um, about a medium to high bitter on the back end. Um, for it being dark, I mean, I mean for it being this dark, um, it's pretty smooth coffee. Um, I do like to put creamers in my coffees. And um, I'm going to start off with some regular creamer and just kind of take it, you know, go from there. I just used this spoon from my hot chocolate earlier, so it's not dirty if you all are wondering. There's not enough dried hot chocolate on the spoon to dilute into the coffee to, you know, alter the taste at all. So, <laughs> not to worry about that either. So. All right. I toned down the aroma a little bit, just putting that in there, kind of mellowed it out. Um, but you still get you know that that aroma smells good still let's see what I did here and it mellowed down the the strong bitter that's in there um, but you still get a good coffee taste um, so it doesn't really add a whole lot of sweetness for me these creamers um, so I do like a flavored creamer, and I've been using this caramel macchiato. Um, I wouldn't mind changing up my car my sweet, my flavored um, with something else, but I uh, I can't find something that I that I want to you know want regularly. They did have like a cinnamon toast. Great Value had a cinnamon toast flavored one, and I think they had a French toast too, or something like that. But I can't find those anymore. So, which was which was good to change up, you know, flavors once in a while, but uh, they took them away. Like they do a lot of products, other companies too. They just all right. I've kind of drank it down. I might have to add a little bit of more coffee to it. It gave it a, there's still the coffee aroma in there, but it, I gave it a sweet aroma coming up out. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's just how I like to drink it, like that. Um, I don't overly sweeten up my coffee. Um, 
when I'm drinking a coffee, I don't want to make it a, a, a latte or um, I still want to taste the coffee. Um, I don't, I don't want to alter the taste of the coffee when I'm drinking it. I just want it a little sweet. So, um, let me add a little bit more here. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, that's a good it's a good uh, coffee. Um So there you go. Four ninety one Arrow Road in Invermere, British Columbia, Canada. V O A one K two So, I guess this is uh, imported from, maybe from Canada? That's what it kind of sounds like. Interesting. It has a mule up here, if you all seen that. This is in this is in no way, in my opinion, that um, of course I don't know for a fact, but this isn't promoting um, abuse of donkeys or horses because it is kicking horse coffee and it is kick ass donkey. So I don't think it's promoting abuse of these animals. So I think we're all right there. Okay, well I'm gonna end it there. And uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know if you have tried this and what you thought of it. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good stuff. Um, a blend of beans, spirit of kicking horse coffee, and a full invitation to wake up. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.